Well, friends, here we are. Back at Mount Murnig. I did say we'd have a blue-haired friend. I thought it'd be a different one. Sorry. Turns out it's Ryu still. Um, so here we are. Back in Breath of Fire. Uh... Tipo's dead, Ray's dead, we're on our own, Bunyan's our master, oh dear god, everything's horrible. Uh, let's try to go to Windia. Because we, uh, we did say we were on our way there, as friends, so let's, uh, let's do that. First fight, new area, new enemies, what do we got? Nut Troop. We are examining this dude. Oh, that worked way faster than I expected. Brilliant. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys something nifty. Oh, I didn't put it on him yet. Okay. It's the thing with these guys. Uh, they dodge a lot. I say as we don't hit. Or we do hit. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we gotta go do something. We gotta deal with that annoying bird. You will see why very shortly. So you won't see me camping like this very much. Uh, what do you want to do? I want to look at skill notes. I absolutely uh, want skill notes. I am definitely using a skill ink. Because these are now all the abilities that everyone had that are now mine. Uh, I can basically now say things I want, things I don't. For example, I don't care for influence on here, because it doesn't really matter to me. Same with unmotivate, it's useless. Um, snap, I don't really use it. However, I will use gloom, because it becomes useful. And I will use... That's dumb, that's dumb. That's free. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So that burn spell? Yeah. We've now got that. So there you go. Ryu now has burn. That's how you use your skills. Or your skill ink. Skill notes. Master list. Whatever you want to call it. Let's do this again. Um, so us having frost is critical. And us having burn is critical. Um, depending on the enemy type we're about to see. So. Usually, this doesn't hit. Usually. That's usually what happens. There you go. So now what we're going to do is burn him. And... I think he has like 5 health. There you go. Dead. So for 1 AP, done. That's a pretty decent price to pay for an instant kill. Especially when you spend most of your time just missing. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. All right. Let's go this way. Oh yes, I have my notes open. Once again, I totally forgot about that. Perfect, nut mage. Yeah, great, let's kill you. Because the rippers I'm okay with. They don't do very much. That nut mage, however, scares me. There we go. And now we're in the clear. So yeah, Ryu gets a ton of experience in this area. But as long as we play it properly... I got 30 experience. There you go. So look at that health. Look at that power. That's awesome. I mean, AP barely moves. But yeah, and Molotovs. So that's what the nut dudes are weak to. And that's what... Oh, nifty. I'm not gonna hurt you. My name's Tall Man. Tell you all about different creatures' weak points. Sure, yeah, why not? Take the Igu. Yeah, you get more experience. That's him. Yep, that's him telling you they're weak to that. Don't hit you frost magic on those dudes. Or do. Because, you know, free damage. Um. Yeah, so this is the first area of the game where grinding is, like, really easy. And 
as long as you play it right, you don't have much chance of actually dying. So I got 17 experience, just no big. And she gave me a Molotov. I approve. Uh, I don't know my way around here, actually. I should. Uh, what items are here? Oh yeah, there are decent items around. So hunt. Absolutely hunt. Uh, there's a protein. There's free money. As well as a bat amulet, which protects against that. I might be fast... I'm probably going to be fast forwarding through battles. Because... Why not? Um, I don't recall where things are. But I found protein! I'll take it. Where's my menu? There's my menu. I haven't played in a bit. Uh, where are you? As always, Ryu. Let's also heal up, because why not? What equipment am I using? Uh, so this is the other benefit. Uh, for example, I'm already using the best equipment. If I want to be faster, I'll use the silver knife. But I want to be optimal. So I'll use the broadsword. Um, yeah, so all of Tebow's equipment, gone. I think all of Ray's equipment, gone as well. I'm not 100% on that. I believe it to be the case, though. Let's see. Burn! More burning! All the burning! Have it be like a bad time in high school. Or some people's later lives. Yes, that was shaming. Be with it. Now, there is also, like I said, a bat amulet and 200 zenny kicking around somewhere. I think I remember where the zenny is. There, I think that was it, up top there. I believe. I hope. Heart of the cards. Yep, lots of burning. All the burning. Now, I don't have my notes up for Bunyan and for his level requirements, but I'm gonna tell you, this episode will be shorter. Um, I'm just gonna say that now. At least, that was my goal last time, and then I went to one of my longest ones ever. I want this episode to be shorter. Okay, I don't care much about the bad amulet, so I'm just gonna sell it anyways. Um, I would like this to be shorter, because I want to do some off-screen grinding! Uh, this is where I kind of do some stuff with Ryu, where the game finally lets you kind of have a bit more free reign. And I don't mind grinding, because I can just put the game speed, since I'm running an emulator right now, up to 200 times. And I can just hit X every now and then. And I'll kill everything. I don't think... I don't know why I say 200. I think the highest mine goes is... Hand to get 10? Feels like it's 200. 200 is my, like, when I'm... Just testing things. I have, um... I just overclock things. And just run it way fast. Just to see if it'll go. Uh, I've done it in... Okay, it's my other emulator. I'm looking at this now. It's my other emulator for Project 64. You can speed up in there as well. Trying to play Ogre of Time really fast is just a fun challenge of mine. Uh, trying to get across Hy like the Hylian field and do go anything. Try to go in anywhere. I dare you. Speed it up. You can't. It's 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 amazing. Let's see. All right, so, are we here? Yeah, we're at a no-go again. We're at an impasse, it would seem. Let's get rid of these dudes. Sorry, I was quiet during that. It will be sped up. It's quiet during that because I was reading. I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. I don't think I can go back after this.
Um. No. Kind of. Um, I'm just concerned that if I progress too far, uh, too much plot happens, and I can't go back to Bunyan. I believe I'll be able to. I believe. So let's progress. Uh-oh. He didn't notice that somehow. Yes, I am very much not your brother, and maybe I was supposed to be dead, but the other one was following me. Those guys are messed up. Those sprites? Oh man, I hope you all can see that too. He's definitely dead. He has to be dead. He's a zombie. How, like, this is the type of thing, this is the, the, the leaps in logic that I have an issue with when someone like sees a light in the sky at night and suddenly goes, ah, it must be a UFO. No, it's not aliens. UFO simply means unidentified flying object. You can't, that just, like, I don't know what a lot of planes are. I could never, I could be like, that's a Cessna. Like, I could do that, and that's about it. Or I could be like, that's a 747. Even though it's not, all jumbo jets are 747. The, to me, the extreme jump to me of, I don't know what this is, therefore, it's this. Makes no sense. Something big's about to happen. So I'm gonna be quiet. That's right. We are Finn Balor. No. I hear that like beat, and that's all I think of that. We're a dragon! Uh, in case it wasn't painfully obvious already, yeah, we were the little dragon from from the mines. Uh, yeah. And so the one brother who's again horrified, who still thinks we're either an alien, a zombie, or a vampire, now freaks out and just wants to run. And it's like, no, no, hang tight. Uh, they are very much Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Anyways, back to my thing. So this is my issue with alien people, is that they're like, oh no, it can't be a plane or a helicopter or something I don't recognize, because I know everything. Therefore, it is aliens from another, not just planet, but another solar system. There's issues with that I'm not going to bother to get into. This is also why I have a really hard time believing in, like, spirits and demons and angels and gods and things. It's the same leap in logic of, I don't understand something, therefore, it must be this. That, no, that's not how that works. That's not how deductive reasoning works. It's not how intelligence works. It's, I don't know, let's investigate, let's dig. I'm totally not talking at all about what's on screen right now. Uh, we're being offered up to the king as a, basically a, hey, I found this thing, give us its bounty, and we're back into our little boy form. Um, so, let's stab him again! Yeah, because a, a king is totally going to let you beat up a child in front of him. Now, I don't quite understand physics as well as some. The bottom of that cage is not moving. The only way that, that bar, those bars could work like that is if they were made of rubber. Charlatans! Fantastic word. It's not used very much anymore. Like forsooth, forsooth is an amazing word that no one, no one uses anymore. Um, so here we are. We're in jail with Fat Kermit, who has a treasure chest. Um, yeah, yeah, we're crying because you know, it's what you do. You cry. So we're all in jail. Because that's what you do with a kid who's been thrown in a cage. 
You you throw them in jail. What a wise king. Again, same idea. I don't know who you are, therefore you're this. Like, no. That's not how that works. That challenge me on this. Comment, fight me on it, please. Like anyone who can explain to me the the, rash, the logic of doing that of I don't know what this is therefore it's this no and yeah Nina Nina's letting little dude out so the green haired one is the dumb one and the, the bluish silver skinned one is the smart one and somehow the two of them together yeah we're not gonna pick on him and again. We're totally good people. Yeah. And she goes, I just watched you kick this boy. I just heard you guys talking about a terrible plan. I believe you. Like, no! Like, stupid people! Just get out! I... There's, a, there's been a lot of things in my life recently that have made me just be like, no, that's not how that works. That's not cool. And this is so that the animosity coming out right now is a symptom of that. Um, yeah, surprise! I hate that laugh. And this music is like crisis, like something bad is, we gotta work fast. No, time doesn't actually matter. All right. Time to hit the road. So they're gonna capture the princess. All right. They're gone. I don't know what door they closed, but they're gone. What do I do? I don't yell for the guard. I'm a hero! I'm also five. So it's bound to happen. You know what'll work? Do it again. Oh, but we backed up an extra two feet. Watch out! And we glowed white for some reason. I don't know what that was supposed to be. But all right, we're free. All it takes to get a jail. More skill ink. Let's go get us a princess. Oh, I always forgot there was a gate. That's what they opened. That was definitely a door shutting, but apparently that was them opening it, actually. All righty. Now something I just realized I did by getting rid of influence, I can influence the brothers to attack each other. It doesn't really help. Um, yeah. Let's see, can you win this? You apparently can win this. Okay. Alright, let's try to do this. You can apparently win. I was just... You can apparently get 110 experience here. So, let's give this a go, shall we? Yeah, I certainly wouldn't try anything stupid with Nina there. I'm not about to do something terribly stupid right now. No chance. Well. Do I have a healing herb? Oh god. This isn't gonna work. News awake. I'm totally dead. I'm dead. Run away, Nina. With haste. Forsooth! Ugh. Oh, didn't work. Or maybe it did. Yeah, that was... Okay. Yeah, that was not gonna happen. Uh, that 44 was almost a one-shot on its own. Um, but apparently she found somewhere to hide. Yeah, you don't need to do that. You don't need to heal her at all. Um, she just gets away on her own. 
I nod at her, and that somehow translates to, this is my name. And that's the you got a friend sound, which I totally wish played in real life. That was also my, like, radio announcer man uh, voice. Now, how's Ryu doing? Oh, okay, I have full health now for some strange reason. Okay. Um, sure, why not? Full health. That totally makes sense. Where are we? We're at 20 minutes. Let's end this here. Uh, I'm gonna do two videos today, but just for viewing convenience. I'm not gonna make them 45 minutes. Um, so here we are. We are in the Windian Catacombs. We now have Nina in our party. Um, yeah. Productive little episode. I'm feeling good. I might be do a couple of these. I'm still see some people this afternoon, but I can put that off just a little bit. Uh, and there's some cool stuff we can get uh, in here. So, yeah. On that note, we're gonna hang out here. This music is scary. I'm gonna go up here because it's loud. Um, we're gonna go up here. This is much more calm. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out up here. And uh, next part, we're going back down there. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. It's Untold Reality signing out. Yeah. Hope you all have enjoyed the, we have a new cute little princessy person on our party. And yeah, see you guys next time. Take care.